down the road here is Lockheed Martin Skunkworks, and this is where they build all their secret stuff. It's one of their production facilities. They have quite a few now, I think. They've, they bought Martin aircraft. So they develop all kinds of stuff here, right? Like some of it is joint um, development, like the 35 program involved many countries making investment in it. This one. This is uh, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works visitor building. Apparently they have a gift shop. We're going to go in there later. So we're allowed to cross this road and go look at these two planes. There is an F-16 over here and a 104 Starfighter. And this F-16 says NASA all over it, which tells me it was a flight test machine. 816, so NASA put its own numbers. Their numbers are different than the numbers of the U.S. Air Force, but we do have to look up NASA. Can you put that in your phone? NASA F-16 from the Dryden Flight Research Center, which is in Edwards Air Force Base, very close to here. And, and that's what you have to do to get into Lockheed Martin Skunk Works. And right behind me is the actual design building. All kinds of guards are looking at me right now. That guy's staring at me. And here we are. Wow. He's beauty. She's real. I believe that's the design building over there. And they've got a really neat airplane sticking out in their front there too. They got some airplanes up on posts. All right. So. Oh. Guards are doing their job over there. Skunk Works. NASA F-16. I think it's the most bizarre thing. It must be a cover for parking it. And there's like dirt in the pitot tube. It's a bizarre looking instrument. For air data recording. It's the only civil registered F-16 in existence. It's the only civilly This aircraft was used for parts. I mean, if you get a part and engine tests. Hmm. Oh. They're very maneuverable airplanes, huh? Like they should have a plane over here. So, so uh, there, was plane in the center here. there was definitely another plane sitting right there, or maybe they got one coming. And this is an F-104 Starfighter. Again, NASA all over the place. So these are research aircraft. I like the color scheme. That might be faded orange. Like that might have been a bright orange a long time ago. So this is your first Mach 2 aircraft. Dad, and this is a Kelly Johnson machine. Part 2, what do you think? Pardon me? Part 2. I'll take a piece of it. They look like protection covers for something. But this, thing's, this thing is just a... They called it a missile with wings. A man and a missile. That's what they called this thing. And these were operational. They flew a bunch of them. Canada bought some too. A whole bunch of Air, um, air Forces bought them. Germany. 4,442 huh? flights this plane did. This plane did how many flights? 4,442. This is one of three F-104s built specially for NASA for use as pilot proficiency aircraft and low lift drag trainers, chase planes, and they all got an F-104N designation. This one was received at NASA Dryden Flight Research Center in September of 1963 and was retired in January of 1987 after 4,442 flights. This airplane <laughs> whoa, has flown 4,402 flights. 42 flights? That's stunning. That's, that, that blows me away. Wow. 
I got a bit of a sticker. Go up, I can do this. How about that? I'll look around. A little dusty. Oh, I can't see in there. Kind of point the camera over this way. Here's your Lockheed, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works design facility. And Jackie O on the road, Norman Jack this time. Got Jack to come out. Well, that's amazing. 4,400 flights in this thing. Holy smokes. I wonder if that's the original landing gear. I wonder if that's the original anything. How many times did they swap out the motor in that thing? <laughs> Probably a bunch. All right. Skunk Works. Visitor station. Let's go inside. Lockheed Martin has a skunk work store. Oh, that's nice material. Oh, that's nice material. I must have one. But look at blue, it's got a skunk on it. They got long sleeves. That's a long sleeve? Yeah. That is it. Look, it says Lockheed Martin on the sleeve. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, golf shirts, look at them all. Well, that's the new one. Stunk. Oh, look at that. Um, hmm. F-35 shirts. Really nice feeling, too. Look at these little Lockheed Martin shirts. I like it. This one's got a skunk on it. That looks nice. Nice golf shirt. Whoa, is that nice? It's only $67. Oh, they got mugs. Oh, thank God they have mugs. Bags, Jacqueline. Really? Oh, oh. Oh, oh Dad, look at this Hawaiian shirt. I wish you these. Oh, come on. This is, like a, this is like a cooler bag for lunch. You have a Hawaiian shirt of F-35s with a C-130. These are all Lockheed airplanes because there's a modern U-2. Oh, and a jacket for... This jacket is only $51. That's a bargain. But get back to these bags. You, these are like um, your little, your headset bags. An F-16 Lockheed Martin headset bag. Computer bag. A Lockheed Martin computer bag. <laughs> I'm really, really, really attracted to that. The computer bag? Yes. And this F-35 helmet bag. Or the, look, F-35 backpack. For $104, this backpack. It's gorgeous. And those are little coolers. Suit bag. Are you getting that? Yeah, okay. And look at all this stuff. Golf equipment. Habu stickers. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'll find some more. Swag. Find swag. Yeah. Oh boy, look at this stuff. Lockheed Martin washrooms. Snacks, <laughs> pop. What is this? Some Wi-Fi check-in. Visitor center. Security administration. Peek in there. Ooh, that. You have to go into this room first, and then you go down there. 
I should probably get out of here with my camera. Oh, hi. <laughs> well, every time I leave one of these places, I got stuff with me. How much does this thing cost? 105 bucks. Is the car hard? Yeah, I mean, I'm a sucker for Lockheed Martin. It's the only aircraft stock I ever made any money off, by the way. There's the big Chevy. Hey, here's your turn to drive. We're going to Starbucks. Getting closer. They got their little outdoor museum right there at their gate. That's one of their employee gates. They do have their logo on it. They got the skunk on it. So this building 611 here is, I believe that's the design works. And here's your, this whole series of ha hangars is where some very special airplanes were built. And he's got the skunk on him. And they're freshly painted. And a lot of other stuff was built here. Um, assembled here a lot of the space shuttle was put together here and it got when it got its glass cockpit redesigned that all got done here surrounded by Joshua trees and way off in the distance there that is the civilian side of Palmdale Airport and actually way off in the distance a little to the left is only something like 20 miles away is Edwards Air Force Base where pretty much everything here went off to be tested at. If it was super secret, it actually went quite a bit further, about a hundred and something miles further to Groom Lake, which is now called Area 51.